Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. Today I'm going to show you how I edit my raw files that are shot with my Canon EOS R. I did some videos where I talked about my new camera last year, then I talked about the differences between the mirrorless system and the DSLR system and my preference towards the mirrorless system. And now I want to show you how I process my images. It's nothing special, it's the same, but there are some differences and that is why I want to do this uh, video slash tutorial of editing just to share with you my thoughts and opinions on this camera. My name is Soma, photo Tom here on YouTube. I'm a full-time landscape and travel photographer. So if you're interested in this kind of topics, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can also further support me by buying one of my editing courses. And also you can join me in one of my workshops in May. There is Tuscany, so check it out if you want to come. In September, there is the, the Dolomite photo tour. In October, there is a workshop dedicated to forests. All the links and uh, the details are in the description of this video. Now, let's see how I edit my uh, raw files from my Canon EOS R. Here is the photo that I'm gonna edit. This is my silhouette in the forest at night. I have a powerful light behind me and then I also hold the flash. You see I'm not that sharp because I'm moving. It was a 15 second exposure, f4, 24 millimeter and ISO 320. Uh, the other elements that didn't move are okay, are sharp. Uh, I also have some leaves that are moving and the, it's the minuses and pluses of shooting in the darkness in the forest. Now the first thing that I will do with every photo is correct the chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections. But as I, I noticed uh, in just a few months of using the Canon EOS R, this camera is not that powerful when it comes to high ISO noise. So you will get some noise when you are rising the ISO. And at 320, the, the noise is not that big, it's manageable, uh, but you have to deal with it. So whenever you have um, a big ISO value and you also have darker areas and you know that you're going to increase the details in the shadow, for example, you have to go after uh, removing chromatic aberration and enable profile collection, you have to go here on sharpening because Lightroom um, by default applies this value of 40 to the whole image and this means whenever you have um, spots of color or areas like this, when you increase the sharpening in an area like this that also has a little bit of noise, you increase the value of that noise. So this is the first tip for today. So I will uh, hold the Alt key and uh, alter the masking. So I will apply the sharpening only on edges, but I will no not go all the way, something like this. I will stay somewhere in between, but I don't want to have this sharpening applied in these areas where there is only um, darkness, let's say. So we still have a sharp image, but we reduced a little bit the, the noise. Now in terms of luminance, because I, uh, we also have 320 as ISO, I know I'm going to increase the details in the shadows. I can safely apply a value of 10 here in the luminance. Now let's take a look at, at the entire image and let's increase the shadows. I will not go overboard, I will not go something like this, but I will increase the shadows a little bit and I will also, I'm also looking here and um, I'm seeing that I have a little bit of clipping. So. If I try to drop the highlights, I don't know if uh, it, it's working. Let's see if I drop the whites, how it looks. Not that good. So I will use uh, the highlights to compensate for that. Now, what I see in this image is the entire image is kind of yellowish orange uh, and it has a warm feeling. Now, I want this light to have a much more cooler feeling, to have um, more blue in this area. The reason you see these rays of light, it's because it was a little bit of fog in the forest. 
otherwise you would not see this you would see only uh, a bright light but you would not see these uh, rays of light and I will increase the the definition and the visibility of these in just a moment so first of all I will add a radial filter for this entire area and if you hold down the if you put your mouse here you see with the red the mask so I will decrease the temperature and I'll make this much cooler now how cool it depends to your personal preference I like it like this and now I will use a brush and let's have the mask visible while I paint I want this and this to be more visible so for that I will increase the clarity you see in the moment I increase the clarity the rays of light are, are much more visible and then I will increase the white just to have it more powerful and now let's click new and use another brush for this entire area over here and make it again a lot cooler now whenever I have images that have so much darkness and blackness so if I'm shooting into um, into the forest like this you will have very dark areas so one way to deal with this if you don't want to increase the uh, details in the shadows no more because you will lose the feeling of the image is to come here and increase just the black point a little bit but you'll have to compensate and create something like a, a contrast a, a small contrast curve I put a point over here to preserve the highlights I dropped out the shadows and I just increased a little bit the um, darker areas so let's take a look um, this was the ori the original image with which we have started and this is the edited one and the feeling is completely different you have now a separation between the subject and the forest and I really like this blue shade uh, that it's in this area so the thing that I like the most with this camera is the sharpness that it has and also the ability to draw details from shadows uh, which is far bigger than let's say the Canon EO, um, EOS 6D Mark I that I had before I can't compare it uh, to other cameras to 5D Mark III to 6D Mark II or to 5D Mark IV because simply I didn't use those cameras so I, I can't have um, a fair opinion in uh, comparing these uh, uh, these cameras if you have knowledge uh, from your own experience and you want to add something in comments just say it and it will help everybody so this was it for today i hope you found this short video slash tutorial of editing useful leave a comment if you have something to say subscribe share this video with your friends and uh, until next time bye bye